hello. Today we are making this fun, cute little baby shower gift with the faucet. So you can see there's a little faucet in there. We have our little rubber duckies. We have our little cotton balls in here to make it look like bubbles. And you can add little washcloths in here. Now to do this project, I used everything from Dollar Tree. So everything in here is available at Dollar Tree, including these little plastic tubs. Um, I have one in pink that I'm going to do this with you with. If you have any trouble finding um, the washcloths, you can use, they have a hooded towel, which is really hard to find, but you can do the exact same concept that I'm going to teach you here. And the hardest part is the faucet, but I'm going to walk you through it, and you're going to be able to make it on your own in no time, because once the faucet's up here, all you have to do is throw all the little goodies in there, and the mom-to-be can put this on the nightstand with, next to the changing table, and she can use all the little things in there and keep it for a while and enjoy it, or she can take the whole thing apart, but come on, let's face it, you're always using a little cotton ball to wipe up a baby's little face or you know put little lotion on or something like that so in this project I just put in the bath project uh, product so I have a little baby powder I have a shampoo and I have a lotion and then I have the little rubber duckies I have my little teddy bear from Dollar Tree along with the little shower cap and let's get started on what you need otherwise so to do this project what I used was of course the plastic bin you're going to need believe it or not what do I always tell you guys to save the stems from some flowers so if you buy flowers from Dollar Tree this is what we're going to use today the stems to make our faucet because they have some bendability in here to make that curve for the faucet so that's what we're going to use you're going to need some little washcloths you're going to need of course your little teddy bear you're going to need two bags of the cotton balls to fill up something like this. You're going to need these washcloths. They come in a four pack, so this is perfect to make um, even two little baby shower gifts if you wanted. You will have one for the next one. If you don't know the gender of the baby, you can get the four pack of the white, and you can use your theme off of that. You don't have to really go pink or blue. Um, you might be able to find even a green tub to use to make it more standard, or maybe the mom is using a color that you'd like to blend it all in with. You're going to need some duct tape. Now they do sell duct tape at Dollar Tree. It works very, very well, and this is perfect for this project. You're going to need some double face tape. It comes just like this. It says double-sided tape, and this is sold in the office department at, home, um, at Dollar Tree. And you're going to need, this is an eight pack of the shower caps, and you're gonna need these. So you'll have it to make more than one baby shower gift, and otherwise, use it for yourself. So I think that's all we need to get started, and really all you need is, um, you don't even need any, you might need scissors here and there to take the tags off, but it's really, really, oh, I know what you need. You need floral tape. This is floral tape sold from Dollar Tree, and it comes um, just like this in a package, and it's sold where the um, foam wreaths and things are, so it comes like this, and we're going to use this to wrap our wire on with this. Okay, so let's get started, and all you have to do is pull off your flowers. So I have two. So pull off your flowers and pull off your leaves off of your flowers. So whatever flowers you have, I always tell you guys, save the stems, because we have something else we're going to make too, and we're going to use these as well. So you're going to take your two like this, and what you're going to do is you're going to just start to wrap it. So you want the whole thing wrapped with this flower tape. And the best way to do it is just spin it. It's the quickest way to get it done. I have a little piece that's kind of sticking out. So you're just going to wrap this, wrap this, wrap this until you get to about right there. Now, what you're going to do with this one is you're going to take it and you're going to put it like this. So when you put it inside there, what you're going to do is you're going to bend this side in, okay? So you just take this with this, so this, the stems themselves with the stems themselves, and when you started wrapping this, you're going to go about right there, and you're going to wrap the rest. Because I had I had done this project before, and nobody could understand what I was talking about when I was telling them to just wrap this with the floral tape. They just could not grasp my concept. So, now that I'm doing videos, guess what? You guys get to learn how to do all these projects I do. And this head of mine just never stops thinking. So... You're almost done. You don't have to do it a lot. You just, you're just trying to bind it all together. So you want it to be as tight as you can possibly make it. 
okay so go all the way to the bottom and of course the mom can throw this out when she's done with it she can actually use the towels wash them and use them because you're not using anything on there but the double face tape so now that we have this let me move this out of the way we're going to take our two washcloths okay here's our two washcloths and we're going to take those off of here and you're going to open them up and what you're going to do is you can take these tags off of here okay so they're not in your way and what you're going to do is you're going to put double face tape on one of these okay so you're going to go all the way across with the double face tape so I'm just going to pull a piece off and I'm going to show you guys. You're going to just take your double face tape and you're going to put it on one side like this. But you want to go all the way across. Because what we're going to do is we're going to stick the two towels together so that we can start to wrap this into there. Okay, so we have this one. What we're going to do is we're going to take this one and we're going to lay it on top of it. Okay, so you have it like this. So it looks like this. Okay, and then what you want to do is you want to make sure that this is long enough for this. And look at it, it's absolutely perfect. So now that we know that it's perfect, what we're going to do is we have the double face tape right here. So this is already taped together. You don't need to add any more. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your stem that you wrapped in the floral tape and you're just going to start to roll this up. And you're going to roll it all the way down and you're going to try and roll it as tight as you can. Okay, just roll it all the way down. So I'm going to put it down for a second so I can get a nice tight roll on it. And when you get to the very end, all you're going to do is you're going to double face tape this whole side in again. So just like we did on the whole center, you're going to do the same thing on this part here. Okay, you just want to run some double face tape all the way down. Okay, so now that we have that, we're just going to, and like look at here. Because I have this little flap here, I'm actually going to fold this in so that it's not uneven. Okay, I'm going to fold that in like that, just like that, so that it's nice and even here. So just fold this in if yours is over flapping like mine is. And you're going to add the double face tape all the way down the side. And it will stick. And what's nice is the mom can just wash these. And she's got some washcloths and she's got some extra washcloths to use for the baby with the bath. And now what we're going to do is we put that double face tape there. You can see it. We're just going to go as tight as we can, and we're going to press down. Okay, so now we have this long thing. Okay, now all we have to do is take the one end and bend it. Okay, bend it down. Keep bending it until you get like a hook. Okay, so there we have it. We have our hook already. That's our spout. Okay. Now, I don't have any more blue to work with, so I'm going to use pink, and that's okay if we use pink or whatever color. So here's my package of the three, and this one and this one I'm going to put inside the little thing, and I'm going to use the solid pink one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up, and rather than open the whole washcloth, all I'm going to open is one little side. So we're going to unroll it, okay? And we're only going to open one side and then what we're going to do is we're going to roll this okay we're just going to roll it roll it roll it and when you get to the very end all you're going to do is again put some double face tape right across here okay we are almost done see how fast that is and what a cute little gift you can give now you're going to roll it see our double face tape there roll it so it's nice and tight and then all we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to go from front to back that's going to give us our little fountain look. Okay. Now the only thing here with the double face tape is I find that a piece of the duct tape works better. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of the duct tape and you're going to fold it in. You know, take a piece like this and you're going to fold it, fold it so that you have it like a piece of double face tape, but it's not. And then you're going to just take it on the one end, so you're taking it here, and you're folding it over, and you're sticking it there. And it just sticks better than the double face tape, okay? So now you have your little faucet. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your tub, 
Okay, so we have our tub, and we're going to tape this with double face tape two times to make it stay. Okay, so we're going to take two pieces long enough. Okay. And we're just going to tape this to the side. So I'm going to tape it in the center there so that I have it all the way. So let me just lay it down on its side like that. Okay. And we're going to tape this in here. I'll show you in one second. Okay, so we have one piece of tape on there, and we're going to add another piece of tape on there just to keep it nice and steady. Okay, and I'll show you what it looks like. And if you feel like you want to add more in there, it's entirely up to you. So now it's taped in there. It's nice and secure. Make sure everything is holding up really well. Okay, then we're going to take a little piece of, this is a three pack, so you can use the ribbon somewhere else. And we're just going to take one little curl from here. Okay, we're going to cut that off, and that is for our little water spout. Okay, so you cut it off, and all you got to do is stick it up there. Okay, so now we got our little curl in there. And guess what? Now you can start adding all your little items in there. So, I have a little teddy bear here. Okay. So I'm going to take the little teddy bear, and I'm going to take one of our little shower caps. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take our shower cap, and we're going to measure our bear's head. Okay, so we're just going to take it, and we're going to wrap it around our bear's head. My dog is here. She wants the toy. Okay, and then from here, all you're going to do is cut this end off. Okay, so cut that off if you want to make the little shower cap. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your double face tape, and again, we're just taping this together. Okay, so you're just adding a little bit of tape to close it off. That's all you got to do. Okay, tuck that under there. Put that there. And now our little bear has a little shower cap on. And it's ready to go inside our little thing here. And so you add a little bear in there. You add your little soap in there. You add your little shampoo in there. You add some baby powder in there. And then you can pick up the little rubber duckies or they have little frogs, whatever you want to do at Dollar Tree. And then you fill it with your two bags of cotton balls. Okay, so I'm just using the one I had from here because I just wanted to do this to show you guys how to make it. And you fill it with those two things. Okay, then you take your little washcloth, one there, one on this side. So now you have a few more little washcloths. Okay, so this is kind of in the way. So let's push this over here so you guys can see. And you just can add, you know, the things that you want inside of here. But that's how you make your little faucet, and it's a quick gift to give. And it's super easy and it's super cute. So look at we're all done. And we add our little rubber duckies on here. You have your little faucet. And there you go. You have an adorable baby shower gift with a little faucet that was so easy to make using more little washcloths. So have fun making your own. And I always have something coming up, but I wanted to share this with all of you on how to make your faucet and save those flower stems. I'll see you on the next one.